We welcome you to Raleigh tonight for our coverage of ACC Network Basketball presented by GEICO. NC State at 4-1 welcomes number 17 North Carolina to PNC Arena in Raleigh. They take the wrapper off the conference season for both schools. Great to be with Jordan Cornette, West Durham. And Jordan, they want to play this game at the top of the gear box at both benches tonight. Whole lot of questions going to be answered in this one, Wes. We start with can the Tar Heels take care of it? I mean, they're giving the basketball away at a very high rate, whereas the Pack, 30% of possessions from the opposition, they are taking that thing away. They want to get out and run, turn some defense into some offense. They like to play at a fast pace. Can Carolina keep up if it's a track meet? We will see. As for the Pack, the question here, quite simply, can NC State hang in a paint? The big boys from Carolina are bullies on the block. They get after you on the backboard. 41% of possessions, they are generating offensive rebounding opportunities. Pacman out-rebounded three of their five games. Can they hang down low? 239th meeting between the two schools and NC State plays tonight for a fourth straight ball game or third straight ball game without DJ Funderburk, but they do get the freshman Cam Hayes back in the lineup tonight, although he is not one of the starters out there for Kevin Keats's club. Ted Valentine, Burt Smith, A.J. Desai on the whistle from a very vacant PNC arena in Raleigh, a unique environment indeed for these two longtime rivals that traditionally meet twice a year in the ACC schedule. And the Wolfpack has the opening possession with Devin Daniels lobbing for Manny Bates. The shot got blocked by Brooks, and here's Carolina pushing the tempo to the offensive end. Baycott in traffic and an offensive foul. Daniels stepping in front of the sophomore, Armando Baycott, who draws his first. Hey, Wes, what, talk about the hustle there. Daniels getting back, transition defense, hustling to take one away, which would have been an easy lay-in on that side. You love to see that from a guy billed as a scorer, making an effort play early for the pack. Daniels, the Wolfpack's leading scorer, just better than 16 a game. Here's the lineup featuring Thomas Allen, the Nebraska transfer. On the drive, and again, one and done after the miss by Allen. Carolina turns it over. Here's Beverly, a steal in three. Nobody waits around on this night. Jump shot at the foul line, R.J. Davis on the board. Okay, Wes, we're playing fast in this game. And to be honest, both teams fully capable of doing that. But the Pack have to be happy early on. It's a track meet. Carolina fans got to be happy. R.J. Davis knocking out shots. Yep. Daniels out front. Leaky Black has him defensively for Coach Williams' team. On the drive, and we're tied on the bucket by Daniels. That ball thrown beyond the reach of Baycott by Caleb Love. And there's the unforced error that Carolina has been susceptible to as well, Jordan. And it's not the sexiest turnover that, that we're going to show in highlight packages, but the denial from Helens, Helms, that far out from the basket, generated that turnover. Again, effort from the pack defense. Daniels inside Bates, left hand scores. Manny Bates on the board. He has come on strong here as of late and really starting to show the development they had hoped for when he signed with the Wolfpack. Oh, yeah, wait. Bates got that in a bag. He's not just a shot blocker anymore. Saw those 20 points for St. Louis. Give him the pill. Davis on the bounce. Here's Brooks. Touch at the post against Helms. Bates had the rebound, lost it out of bounds. It will return to Carolina. And Kevin Keats, of course, now in his fourth season, a native of Lynchburg, Virginia. 69 wins in Raleigh, 141 in his career that, of course, includes a very successful tenure, including two NCAA trips at UNC Wilmington. Good little look from Davis. Brooks misses his second shot from the floor, and here's the Wolfpack with a two-point lead. Daniels baseline around Leaky Black. Got the bounce. Devin Daniels with a couple of field goals early. Carolina's defense giving up too many straight line drives. The pack having their way with pass to get to the rim. That one too easy. 
Baycott the catch, working on Manny Bates. A nice, tough shot in the basket for Armando Baycott, who's 74% from the floor early in the campaign. And I really started to really get into enjoying Baycott's game. Those 11 points in the second half versus Kentucky, a confident score. Daniels bangs home just his seventh three of the year. He's got seven of State's nine here early. It's 0 for his last 10 before that one. Huge for the confidence of the score. Brooks a long two at the front. And the first points of the night for Garrison Brooks. I like that Garrison Brooks is being aggressive hunting his shot despite the early misses. I mean, Pac fans know how dominant Brooks has been in these matchups, most especially last year. He's got to be gluttonous hunting his. Helms almost threw it away, got recovered by Bates, blocked out of bounds by Baycott. It will stay with the Wolfpack 13 to shoot. And I love what NC State's going doing here in the first half. Wes, I love what NC State's doing. I mean, they are finding their big fella, Manny Bates. They want to try and get the Carolina front line in foul trouble. Yeah, there's more of them, but Bates is not playing scared down low, and State's not afraid to feed him. Bates for the dunk. Nice pass, Beverly, and Manny Bates has got his second field goal. Back and forth they go. Baycott recovers the miss and is fouled on the way up. The, you, you get the dribble drive, the penetration collapses the defense, and Braxton Beverly is so good at delivering it, he always makes the right decision. An easy flush for Bates to continue to build that young man's confidence as a scorer to get easy ones. Armando Baycott hits the free throw, 71% on the year. North Carolina comes in 12th in the ACC, just under 67 at the line through the first seven ball games for Roy Williams. Baycott hits them both. He's got four of Carolina's eight. State with an early three-point lead. Carolina forces the double team. Helms the two. Left it short. Black the rebound of the air ball. Love. R.J. Davis trying to go to work. Now Brooks spins with Bates, and a reach in on Devin Daniels will get us to a timeout. Fast and furious in Raleigh, and NC State by three early. ACC Network Basketball is presented by GEICO. You could save even more by bundling home and car insurance. Well, normally when we gather here in Raleigh, this is what the environment at PNC Arena looks like, but not so tonight, Mr. Cornett. It's up to us to bring the energy for this one, Wes. I think we're up to the task. Man, different times, different times, especially for this ball game. Hey, fail, 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 fail. Off the foul against Daniels, Brooks gets his second field goal. Brooks has to exploit that matchup. Brooks goes 6'10", Helms defensively at 6'7". That's advantage Brooks every time. Kevin Keats made a swap during the timeout. Cam Hayes is returned to the lineup. First time in three games. Driving score by Daniels. He's off to a red hot start with nine of their 13. Other end and R.J. Davis knocks down his 10th three of the year. He's got five early for Carolina. And we're locked up at 13, J.C. I mean, how about Daniels and Davis now seeming like they're going back and forth? Hayes drops the soft jumper. Freshman from Greensboro. Played at Greensboro Day School for Fred Johnson. Inside Baycott to match, gets the bounce, and now they're just going back and forth at each other. Carolina's playing competent basketball in a half court. They're feeding their bigs, they're taking good shots, and more importantly, despite those early turnovers, off to a good start, not allowing the opposition to build a double-figure deficit. Out of the corner, Shaquille Moore knocks down the three. Wolfpack now leading by three, and they've hit eight of their last 10 from the floor. Right 
Brooks to work on Helms. Offensive foul, Garrison Brooks. Whistled by A.J. Desai. His first, number two, on the Tar Heels. Don't forget, we got more ACC basketball presented by Geico for you next Tuesday. A little uh, between Christmas and New Year's deal. Doubleheader, Miami is at Virginia Tech. Okies with a nice win last night over Longwood. And then Jordan and I will have Pittsburgh and number 20 Duke. Boy, tough news for the Panthers about an hour before we visited with you here tonight in Raleigh. Justin Champagny of Pittsburgh, who was the ACC's leading rebounder coming into the night, going to miss six to eight weeks with a knee injury. And you see Moore knocks down another three. He only had three coming into the ball game. Jordan, he's hit two here in a row. It's a rivalry game. Packer ready for this one. And again, just a couple probing dribbles open up a clean perimeter look for the Pack. Dayron Sharp couldn't catch up with the loose ball. Moore shoves home the dunk. He's got eight. Carolina's turned it over five times. The lead eight for NC State. Tar Heels trying to snap a Wolfpack run. Davis had it blocked by Bates. Brooks recovers. Misses the stick back. They crash the glass, and out of there comes Hayes. What a fight for Bates. The last line of defense, a true rim protector, 83 blocks in his freshman campaign. He's up for the fight tonight. Ball got knocked away sharp. Here's Playtech on the drive. Andrew Playtech, his first points. Stops the Wolfpack run at eight in a row. I want to see the Tar Heels defense stop a dribble drive. The Pack are getting whatever they want in a half-court setting, and the confidence is incredibly high for NC State. More the, the hanger. It's a dribble drive, Wes. It's another one getting the feet into the painted area. The defense, as much as the turnovers, are hurting UNC here in the first eight minutes. Shaquille Moore into double figures, first guy in the ball game, and he just got off the bench. I don't like that. I don't like that charge call. Breaking the action. Daniels taking it for his second. And we're back after this. Well, the early story off the Wolfpack bench and really the early story in the ball game already a season I-10 for Shaquille Moore, Jordan. Welcome to the rivalry. The 6-1 freshman, the lucky lefty, was a beneficiary of a dribble drive for a couple threes. Then they give him the easy one, a two-hand hammer off one of those costly Tar Heel turnovers. And another North Carolinian in Kevin Keats' recruiting fold. Of course, Hayes and Moore both from the Greensboro area. Jalen Gibson, Nick Farrar, North Carolinians, Thomas Allen. A former commitment to Mark Gottfried, who went to Nebraska and then came back and transferred here. But Shaquille Moore, the story is Darion Sebron draws his first. Four on NC State. Two on Daniels prior to the timeout, so he's off the floor. For the Wolfpack, who lead by eight. An eight-nothing run. Carolina's brought Walker Kessler into the ball game, a 7-1 freshman from south of Atlanta at noon in Georgia, and the Tar Heels turn it over for a sixth time. So both schools getting into the bench, and back door, the reverse, Jalen Gibson missed. Recovery by Sebron, and he couldn't finish against Kessler at 7-1. And 7-1 makes it difficult in the trenches. Baycott calling for it. Need better spacing. Too clogged up Davis. to feed the post. Long rebound. Here's the pack almost nine minutes in, leading eight. And more to calm things down. I don't think we've seen inside 10 on the shot clock yet. We might hear. Beverly off the screen. Long two and a foul. It's on Leaky Black. It'll be his first. Three on Carolina and free throws for Braxton Beverly. Who is just three of four at the line. Traditionally a very good free throw shooter. And the first one good. Don't forget also on New Year's Eve. 
We've got women's basketball for you. Doubleheader starts at 1 o'clock. Neil Ivory takes Notre Dame to South Florida to see Katie Meyer in Miami. And then at 3, Jeff Walls has second-ranked Louisville in Durham to meet Carol Lawson's Duke Blue Devils. ACC Women's Hoops, New Year's Eve afternoon right here on ACC Network. Beverly got them both, his first points, and now another turnover, 10-point lead for the Wolfpack. Kerwin Walton wearing 24 onto the floor for the first time for Carolina. Walton kind of a hero in the second half on Saturday in Cleveland, Jordan against Kentucky with his three-point shooting. Beverly working against Walton, lost the handle on it. Tried to roll it out, turned it over. Carolina on the run. It's only Beverly's second turnover of the season. One of the tops in the nation with 12 assists to one turnover, just added his second there. Carolina has to space this thing out, find a way to get Baycott with his back to the basket, a bucket down low. Love. Here's Walton. Back for Love with seven to shoot. Front rim miss. And last touched, saved to Carolina. Here's Walton to pull up two. And more in the Wolfpack go the other way. You see the 12 2 run. More a three. How do you play that far off a guy who has been perfect from the field? Five of five now, a perfect three of three from three, and you give him that kind of space. And a whistle and a foul on the drive. Here's Moore your guy, hasn't Jordan. Missed. Hasn't missed. A good show there from Kessler, and then you just abandoned ship. So then you've got Black running away from the, from the ball. You've got Kessler running away from the ball. Kessler does half the job. Black has to then recover. Both of them follow the dive guy and leave the red-hot shooter wide open. Moore is perfect from the floor, including all three of his threes. And here is Caleb Love, the freshman from St. Louis at the line. 12th best free throw shooter in the ACC. First points for Love. And you see Brooks and Sharp returning for Carolina. Baycott and Kessler exit for Coach Williams. And the second one cleanly through for Love. Jordan, Carolina's been harbored by Slow starts. I mean, they got 19 points as you see Hellams come back. But is this a slow start, or is this just NC State playing at the at the high speed? Uh, it, it's they've been sped up, and the slow starts have been attributed to certain things, whether it's shot selection. Here, most clearly, it's seven turnovers in the first 10 minutes of play. That is the separation. Carolina can get the points down low. They are struggling to defend and protect the dribble drive, which is hurting them as well. But overarching, what you figure could be a problem has absolutely been the seven turnovers for the Tar Heels. Dunk followed by Bates pushes the lead to 13. Carolina's one of their last seven, two of their last eight. Kerwin Walton picking up from maybe where he left off on Saturday in Cleveland. And that's why you knew it would be probably bigger minutes for Walton for a Carolina team that struggles to hit shots. Walton was a breath of fresh air in that Kentucky game, which has led him to get some early time. All the way to the rim goes Sebron for his first bucket. I'll tell you, the pass to the rim downhill every time for the pack credit them for being aggressive but also look suspect at the Tar Heels defense for playing that Ole style that has allowed these drives here is Brooks fall away from the baseline sharp one dribble in the rebound first basket for Daron Sharp I love watching Sharp work. He gives them such a lift off the bench. Went for 13 and 6 versus Iowa. Such a massive body. There is no let up with that front line when he comes in. And we'll get a timeout. Seven and three quarters to go first half. Wolf packed by 11 in Raleigh. Well, in this uh, interesting season we're working through, Jordan, the casual look is in on benches around college basketball. The shoe game, though, has gone to another level here tonight with the coaches. 
I don't know who to give the advantage to. I mean, what great looks from both coaches right there. Coach Keats, I don't know if those are Gucci shoes. They are. The low boys I, he's wearing. I, I got a little shoe intel. You ready? Hit me. Well, first of all, you got to give Roy the props for the Air Jordan 1s, right? Yeah, the low boys, okay. too. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, and then the uh, Kevin Keats has got custom Adidas superstars with the Gucci logo. See on cool. the follow on the miss. <laughs> Two of my favorite coaches. Love chopping it up with them and the style to boot. I mean, it's a can't miss. It's a toss up. Hey, NC State's bench, buoyed by the play of Shaq Moore, has really been productive. And Brooks had that blocked. Wolfpack on a three on three chance. Sebron rejected by Sharp. There's a couple athletes on this floor, Wes, on both sides of the basketball. Yep. <laughs> Great swing pass. Three ball, Puff Johnson misses. NC State by 13. We go under seven to play in the first frame at PNC in Raleigh. 239th meeting. Started back February of 1913. And a foul on Sharp as the drive by Sebron. Jordan, to your point, Wolfpack getting to the rim easily, and there's Sebron, the block of Brooks at the Carolina end of the floor. Just not giving up on the play. Sebron, incredible effort, then Sharp, the athlete that he is for the Tar Heels, matches it on the other side. But again, pack at the free throw line. Just an easy blow by to the rip to draw contact, put the pressure on the official to blow the whistle. Sebron bringing that aggressive attack. Carolina's been failed by not taking care of the basketball, and Carolina defensively has given up entirely too much going to the rim. Points to the paint. NC State 18, Carolina 10. And it's been yeah. a dribble drive for the pack that have told the story there. Darion Sebron, redshirt freshman from Norfolk who took an academic redshirt a season ago, gets one of two. Kevin Keats talked, though, when he took the academic redshirt, he said he was dedicated, he rededicated himself to not only his basketball building, but also the things he was going to do off the floor as well. And he said he couldn't be prouder of Sebron's work ethic. There's Sharp following his own miss inside. Second field goal for Dayron Sharp. Sharp continues to give this team a lift off the bench. I mean, that's where Carolina overwhelms you. Line changes, wholesale style with their front line. Bates, shot fake and a score. Nice first half, eight points for Manny Bates so far. Packer executing at an elite level. This first half couldn't have gone any better for how they wanted this game to be played and how they're executing. Sharp trying to put it on the deck against Helms. Backdoor layup, good, and that is Puff Johnson. Younger brother of Cam Johnson, of course, who starred in Chapel Hill, now in the NBA. Puff on the board for the first time. And Puff's Donovan, a guy brought... Puff Johnson, by the way. Puff, yeah. Donovan, given name there, Jordan. Brought in to, to pop, to pop shots from the outside, provide some offense for this team, much like his brother did. And you see the resemblance to the face. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Here is Hayes, shot clock at five, and that's deep and good. It's big time. It's a big time shot. Fifth three of the year for Hayes. And that one was standing on US-1. I mean, a talented young man. He got a vote for preseason freshman of the year in the conference. Big believer in his talent. Scoop and score at the other end. Tough shot and a make for R.J. Davis. Pull up for Allen is good. This team can't miss. Pat cannot miss here in the first half. Confidence is at an all-time high with four and a half left to play in the first half. They are dance. shooting. They're shooting 62% from the floor here in the first half. And it will stay with Carolina after Kerwin Walton saved it off of Cam Hayes. Kevin Keats' his team is shooting it so well. Jordan, they're 5 of 6 from 3, 18 of 29 from the floor. It, it all 
all come together, Wes. Defensively, they were able to generate some turnovers. They've been able to c compete down in the trenches, which was a huge question mark for a smallish front line with the pack. And they were getting easy ones. And when you start to get easy ones with the drive, you see the ball go in the basket, you start to step out a little bit. Second stage scoring from the mid-range. Then you go out to the third level, you start knocking down threes. Confidence at an all-time high for Coach Keats' squad. And these guys have been fighting all season. They've been battling attrition with, with COVID and reschedules, and yet all they do is come out there to play. And a lot of that has to do with West Ham. I know you'll get to later, that St. Louis game being put on a schedule for the yeah. back. Yeah. They force seven Carolina turnovers, have a point for each one of them. Missed jump shot by Black. Pull up three, Beverly. That ball got slapped out, recovered by Bates, and a front rim miss by Allen. And he recovered the long rebound against Baycock. You can see the mindset for the pack. Fire. Keep firing. Make this game go fast. See a shot, take a shot. Allen trying to drive on Baycott, got blocked, draws the foul. We'll step aside and Raleigh. Wolfpack by 15. Alabama. Clemson, Ohio State, Notre Dame. The college football playoff semifinals, New Year's Day on ESPN. Oh, lock it up now. New Year's Day. Get the feet ready, get the food ready. Get your favorite couch or seat, Jordan. Going to start about four out in Dallas with the Rose Bowl, Notre Dame and Alabama. Go to about one in the morning. Hey, hey, we look, throw West. Allen out of the break good. I ain't big money like you, man. I got to put the suit on and go to work that day. I, there's, there's no couch well, and food for me, my friend. Well, with, with two teams in it, we all might be working, right? <laughs> Four for Allen. Two free throws. The lead, 15 for the Wolfpack. Or 17 for the Wolfpack, I should say. Biggest lead of the first half. Quite a start for Kevin Keats' team. A couple so misses here. in their last possession. They're still... Just below 60%, and what a shot by Davis. He's got nine. He's probably been the biggest bright spot for Carolina in terms of continuing to attack scored officially. It's a massive final three and a half minutes for the Tar Heels to try and chip away at this deficit to make this a competitive one in the second half. What a steal in the open floor by Kessler at 7-1. Here's Black to the basket, and he'll draw the foul. Seven foot one moving like that. I think Kessler's Walker got a bright Kessler. future. Oh, I mean, this is just a great hustle play by a 7-1 freshman, Jordan. That's how you get on the floor. It's a loaded front line. You got to get out there and make things happen. But here's the drive to draw the foul from Black. They need more of it. No question. A couple of free throws here for Leaky Black. We showed you the North Carolinians on the roster for NC State. And Leaky Black from Concord. What a handful of North Carolinians on the roster for Carolina. There's Kerwin Walton checking in. He's not a North Carolinian, he's from Minnesota. <laughs> that ain't close. He checks into the ball game. <laughs> By the way, NC State's 46. John Madrew, who's crunching numbers for us tonight, Jordan. NC State's got 46 points and not a one of them from Jericho Hellams who averages 13 and a half. And don't forget DJ Funderburk at almost eight and a half a game's not playing tonight. Incredible. And the lead is 13. Get up, get up. Allen, Seabron out of the corner. Kessler the rebound. Under three to go. Lead, Baycott juggled it, turned it over. Eighth of the half for Carolina. Kessler blocked that shot. Kick out. Beverly doesn't miss. Three ball from Beverly, his first field goal. Tenth triple of the year. The smaller lineup for the pack is creating fits for a bigger front line, bigger team for Carolina, no question. A block is called on Manny Bates, which will be his second. Kevin Keats can't believe it. It's big. It's your biggest front line guy, as we talked about. No funder, Burke. I don't, that looked like a dip of the shoulder in. I have to get another look, but I felt like that. that's either a no call or a charge. It's 
Two and a half to go. You get a look at Thunderbird on a Wolfpack bench. The basket for Bates results in free throws. How's so that it not? Was before oh, he's, the shot. He was in the circle. One more for Armando Baycott. And missed them both. Kessler hustle play in the corner. Bounced it off of Beverly. Second time we've seen the big rookie make an effort play, Jordan. That's how you get minutes. When you got a loaded team with a ton of talent, yes, Kessler is a massive talent of his own. But little hustle plays like this, they look at that in film the next day, win or loss, and say, those are the kind of plays we need, especially when we're trailing by such a large deficit. Davis, Playtech, bangs home the three. Ninth of the year for Playtech. He's got five off Coach Williams' bench. And in his last three games, Playtech has been five of nine from three. As much as we talk about Walton, him and Playtech need to provide from the perimeter. Double teamed in the corner. Allen hanging two. Kessler the rebound. Inside, Baycott the dunk. Here come the for Armando Baycott. Tar Heels have hit three of their last three, six of their last eight from the floor. Cut it down to an 11-point deficit. Helm still scoreless in the half. On the drive, the runner. Kessler fought for it, couldn't control it. Wolfpack now. Three on two, Allen, offensive foul. First on Allen, seven on the Wolfpack with 70 seconds to play. Coach Keats may be mad at the call, but not mad at the play from his team as Allen goes in. I, it looked like Playtech kind of moved at the last minute. I don't like the call there either. I think that, to me, that's a block. Andrew Playtech took the full <laughs> full hit, though. But it's a, it's a veteran player, again, trying yep. to generate some things. What you're seeing is a competitive fire from a Carolina team that is used to these double-figure deficits in the first half and having a call back. Quick look inside, Baycott right around. Jalen Gibson for the bucket. Baycott now with 10 on his fourth field goal. Back to single digits, Jordan. Sebron, another offensive foul drawn by Playtech. How about Playtech? Playtech, Kessler, role players stepping up for this Carolina team to allow them to claw back in. And you see the pressure speeding up the pack, no longer settling in. They're a little bit out of whack. Carolina taking advantage. Meanwhile, the Tar Heels no longer giving the basketball away, having fulfilling productive possessions, which has them now re-engaged defensively as well. Tar Heels on 11-3 run as we close the frame here. Roy Williams' team wants the last shot. Inside, they struggle. Brooks collects and scores. Garrison Brooks with six. And it won't count at the horn. And Jordan, what was once a huge NC State lead, has been cut to seven here at the break. Hey, you're looking at a Carolina team that's used to having a claw back from double-figure deficits in the first half. They continue to fight. Devin Daniels returns in the second half. That will be huge for the Wolfpack to get back to maybe building a lead in the second half.
report. I'm Kelsey Riggs alongside Luke Hancock. It's a seven point lead for NC State right now over North Carolina conference opener for both of these teams. Luke, a seven point lead now, but it was 17 points. What changed there in the last few minutes of the first half? Yeah, the last three minutes really changed this ball game. Carolina able to make a run as they started really trapping and picking up their defensive pressure, trapped every ball screen and forced the offense to really start the, their action from half court. Let, got into passing lanes, created a bunch of turnovers, and then on the offensive end, everybody says this, but it is so true about this Carolina team. If they're struggling to shoot the basketball, sometimes you just got to put it on the rim and let those big athletes go get it. They were rebounding really well, stick backs, and they're – Post-entry plays were really, really good. A couple of them got tipped, but they found their way inside and scored easy baskets in that last three minutes. NC State certainly wasn't struggling to score the basketball. They're shooting over 50%. They've already knocked down six threes. What's working for this North Carolina off an NC State offense? Well, first thing, Shaquille Moore coming out party. This guy is playing lights out, shooting the basketball lights out. But it's every time NC State finds a paint touch. You see, every time they get in the middle, they create great shots for their teammates. It's not always a jumper in there. Most of the time, in fact, it's a kick out. And they found open shooters every time they were able to touch the paint. I was really impressed with their action coming off those ball screens and getting downhill, getting in the paint, and making the right decision on a kick out pass. Knock down shots all around. It's a seven point lead for NC State right now. If you ask me who's leading with the shoe game, it's Kevin Keats. I don't know if you guys all saw them. Those were pretty impressive. They always are. He's a, he's a big shoe fan. I mean, but you can't, Luke, you can't hate on Roy's shoes either. So they've always got something going there at Carolina with the Jordan brand. We've got more when we come back. And speaking of more, how about Shaquille Moore? 13 points already, came off the bench and making plays like this. More to come from the Halftime Report after this. Welcome back, ACC Network Basketball, presented by GEICO. NC State 49, North Carolina 42. A quick check of the holiday doings in the free expression tunnel on the NC State campus. Welcome back to our coverage. Great to be with Jordan Cornett, West Durham. Quite a half for Shaquille Moore in his first ever State Carolina game, JC. Wes, it's always the guys you don't prepare for, right? A 6'1 freshman average at about five points per game. Finds himself open off the dribble drive for a couple threes. Gets an easy one in transition, then a confidence building. A dribble drive, something that Carolina struggled to defend for the better part of the first half. A miscommunication defensively, he bangs down a three. Another double-figure deficit for this Carolina team to overcome. It's happened in five of their seven games. And how do they climb back? Effort plays. Walker Kessler coming off the bench. The freshman making it happen. Andrew Playtech, a senior, taking two charges, generating some energy that they got back to getting points in the paint, and they made this a ball game. Look at this. NC State at one point was shooting 62% from the floor. They finished just below 53. They hit six threes. The story, though, of the turnover number. Carolina had eight. They had seven in the first 10 minutes, one in the last 10. Jordan, you see those rebound numbers? NC State had 11 second chance points, Carolina nine, but the Tar Heels had nine fast break points in the opening 20 minutes of play. And that's kind of what this has been. When you look at a Carolina team that had that win over, yes, a down Kentucky team, but 11 turnovers in that game gave themselves a chance. They're giving themselves a chance now, Carolina, by taking care of the ball down the stretch in that first half. Baycott, a 17-footer to open the half. Back rim miss, and here's the Wolfpack. Devin Daniels spent a lot of time on Coach Keats's bench after picking up his second just better than eight minutes in. He returns, as does Manny Bates. He plays with two as well for the Wolfpack. Hey, Wes, he hadn't missed a shot. Devin Daniels was massive scoring a ball there. Uh, yep. Can he keep that hot streak despite being on a bench of foul trouble? Helms hasn't scored all night. Misses the three for the Wolfpack to open the half. Love with Davis, Black, Baycott, and Brooks. And on cue, the layup for Garrison Brooks. He's got eight. And the run that started at the end of the first half for Carolina continues. Tar Heels have now scored 15 of the last 18 and 11 straight in the ball game. Beverly. 
turned it over. Deflected out of there. Davis will pull up two. And a foul, I believe. Leaky Black trying to swat it out. He'll become the first player in the ball game with three. First of the second half on Roy Williams Club. It's those kind of shots for R.J. Davis that have generated some of the frustration. He's incredibly talented. He knocks down that shot probably in practice nine out of ten times. But from the field this season, he's 36% because he's not consistently making that. The young man should still take it. Incredibly talented, just not consistently knocking it down yet. Daniels caught up in the double team. Out of it to Helms. Thomas Allen. Lob and the catch and flush for Bates. Fourth double figure game of the year for Manny Bates on his fifth field goal. Had a big night in St. Louis last week. 20 and seven with eight blocks. And took command of the ACC lead and block shots in the loss to the Billikens. And there's a reach in foul on Helms. Wes, talk to me. What, what's going on? Uh, Christmas Day, holiday, hangout? I didn't get the memo. What's going on? Packer and Durham. It's going to be a fun watch. I don't recall being a part of this. What's happening? Am I the new Chris Potter? I think Potter? you were invited. We never got your RSVP. I had to work. I really, truly did. I was upset at the time you set the taping for. I was in I studio. Not, I didn't have anything to do with that. I just, I, somebody else handled the invites. Your, your schedule is your schedule. There's Paycott recovering <laughs> and scoring. <laughs> Fifth field goal, 12 points for Armando Baycott. NC State lead is five, and a timeout for Kevin Keats. You said you were working. Was this what you were doing, Cornette? <laughs> is this what you were doing? Huh? I got home. I got home in a blizzard, and my wife said, you're not coming in until you salt the stairs and shovel the driveway. <laughs> I love that checking. you got that video. Exclusive footage there. <laughs> Tell you what. Security cameras now you you have access to our security cameras Wes. It's good to be on the ACC network. That ball got blocked out of bounds. <laughs> oh man, Big Brother is truly always watching. Truly. Let me thank Shay Pepler Cornett for the exclusive video of you working. I am thoroughly uncomfortable how close you and my wife are. She likes you way too much. Yeah. Way yeah, too I much. The exclusive video of you actually putting the rock salt out there. That was nice. Huh? It's good. Your first big oh. Connecticut winter storm. I like it. Here's the drive. Love couldn't finish. Wolfpack leading by five. We're three minutes into half two in Raleigh. Thomas Allen looking for a seam. Spots Helms out front. Been a tough night from the floor for Jericho Helms. It'll go to the Tar Heels. And Junior Helms from Chaminade in St. Louis, by the way. A couple talented guys came from there, huh, Wes? Ooh, tell the truth, right? A couple St. Louis guys going at it here. Helms and uh, Caleb Love is also from the gateway. And you know, Coach Keats is telling Jericho Helm, Helms one thing. Keep shooting it. You're a double-figure right. scorer. You're an established piece of our program. These are clean looks. They're going to start falling. Uh, but right now, they simply are not. 0 of 5, 0, for, 0 of 2 from 3. Yeah. Look at Daniels driving all the way and scoring. Started off hot. Tagged with a couple fouls. He's got 11 in the game. Black. Ball got deflected. Two straight giveaways by Carolina. Beverly a pull up three. Davis the rebound. Here's the freshman love. Quick bounce pass. Baycott against Bates. And the roll. That's great offense. 14 now for Baycott. NC State is packing that thing in. They are not trying to give up anything in the paint. So movement, get the defense shifty. Then you have isolation for Baycott down low to make things happen. Sublime execution for the Tar Heels. Helms will tee another one up. Rebound. Kept alive by Black. Allen picks up R.J. Davis. 
quick entry for Brooks. Baycott recovers. And bump and a foul called on Allen. That'll get us to a timeout in Raleigh in a five-point game. ACC Network Basketball is presented by GEICO. Don't forget you now can combine your home and car insurance and save even more. Quick look at freshman point guards at Carolina. We started with uh, Blue Island, Illinois' Bobby Frazier, Jordan. All the way through Cole Anthony a year ago. I don't know who's a bigger deal at Chicago. Kobe White for the Chicago Bulls or Bobby Frazier, the coach of Brother Rice there in Chicago, <laughs> man. Both of them got the city on lock. <laughs> Out of the timeout, the drive and the hoop for Caleb Love. Caleb Love has entered the chat. That's where he's at his best. Feeling the play out, uh, very controlled, and like all great finishers, look how he keeps his eye on the goal through the contact. That's big time. Heck of a finish. So Caleb Love, who was Mr. Show Me Basketball a year ago at Christian Brothers. Alma mater of Larry Hughes knocks down the free throw. And I'm going to go to that ratio. Four assists to two turnovers. Two to one ratio. He'll live with that with Caleb Love. And let's build on that. Tar Heels to within two. Five minutes into half two. Daniels trying to refire the Wolfpack offense. Last touch by the Tar Heels. 13 to shoot for NC State. Little known fact about Bobby Frazier. Great dancer, Wes. Fantastic dancer. Bring a golfer, too. Yeah. Good friend of mine. The, Good friend of mine. Words, words out on the golf game, by the way. <laughs> the word is out. Helms misses Brooks the rebound. NC State led 46-29. Carolina can tie with a basket here or lead. They'll shoot for the lead. And Sharp ripped it away from Helms and then threw it up and it went in, but it'll be called hell ball that will belong to the Wolfpack. You show me a Carolina fan that doesn't love Dayron Sharp and what he brings to this team. That motor is unrelenting. He fights for everything. Just bully ball right there. Mm. Daniels. Here's Hayes now, the freshman. He and Moore really gave Coach Keats' club a lift off the bench in the first half. Hayes burrows his way to the basket and scores. Third field goal, seven points for Cam Hayes. Showed hard on the ball screen, and he took both defenders with him to the cup. And an offensive foul off the ball on Garrison Brooks. That'll be his second. Don't forget, we've got... Basketball for you on next Tuesday night, doubleheader again. Number 24, Virginia Tech welcomes Miami to the castle. And then Duke hosts Pittsburgh, 8 o'clock. Basketball presented by Geico right here on ACC Network, streaming on the ESPN app. Four-point game. Daniels trying to extend. Rebound for Sharp. Tar Heels going to run with the St. Louis freshman. Play Tech catch and shoot. Sharp the rebound. Put it back up against Bates twice and scores. I like the battle inside, JC, with these two big fellas. He got it and on, that on ball time. got finished. Got it on time for Bates right there. High level. A lot of athletes playing at the rim. Wow, this is fun to watch, Wes. Brooks at the other end and one coming. On a foul against Gibson. So many teams, so many players out there have fallen in love with the three-point shot. This is the kind of basketball I like to see. Elite athletes attacking the rim, playing through contact, and a lot of passion on the finishes. Both teams capable of doing it. Carolina has more bodies to win in that type of game, though. Brooks Smith the free throw, play tech the rebound. Two-point game. They fished it inside and it got turned over. Here's Daniels. Wolfpack didn't have numbers. 
And a whistle and foul from Bert Smith. It's going to be on R.J. Davis, his first. It's the third of the half on the Tar Heels. Check it, fourth foul. And a foul on Playtech against Shaquille Moore, launching the three. Got to let it land. Three free throws for Shaquille Moore. It's always tough. Playtech trying to contest, trying to do the job. It's a fine line now these days and the basketball rules of contesting without fouling that jump shooter. First free throw of the night for Moore. He's just two of seven at the line, as you see Andrew Playtech. Second one good, don't forget. New Year's Eve, we've got ACC women's basketball doubleheader in the afternoon. Notre Dame, Miami start us at 1 o'clock, and then number two, Louisville visits Duke. Carol Lawson and the Blue Devils, who are 3-1 and one at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Available here on ACC Network, streaming live on the ESPN app. Four-point game after more to the line. And almost turned over and was turned over. 13 of the night on Carolina, five here early in the second half. He did such a good job down the stretch of that first half, West taking care of the ball, allowed them to generate that energy. Now they're starting to get back to giveaways. Mm. And NC State capitalized. Daniels, long two from the front. And the Wolfpack, who couldn't miss in the first half, started a little cold here in the second half. They do have four field goals, but Sharp caught that and was on the end line out of bounds, so it'll stay with the Wolfpack. NC State four for 12 to start the half. Carolina six for 14. Tar Heels, who only had a one rebound margin at the half, Jordan, have out rebounded NC State 13 to four to start the second half. There's a drive and a miss layup by Moore. Eight minutes gone. Black sliding in, scores. First field goal for Leaky Black. Understanding your ability. Leaky Black's not gonna take that three-point shot. He's gonna get in, inch closer, take a higher percentage one. Carolina's taking eight threes. They are playing the type of basketball they want to here in this contest. And NC State stepped on the end line. Hayes turns it over. That'll get us to a break in Raleigh. Two-point game. With Jordan Cornette, West Durham. Our producer tonight, Josh Muck, our director, Kyle Lang, our ACC Network crew, PNC Arena in Raleigh. We're looking on, and NC State a two-point lead, led by as many as 17 in the first half, J.C. And this is a Carolina team that, when you look at it right now, it's say if Carolina takes care of the basketball, it's trending towards Carolina should win this game. NC State's got a lot of fight, though, and I'm looking for Devin Daniels to, to regain and take over. We're headed towards a, a great finish here, Wes. Brooks. Forced into a bad look. And here is Daniels. Slips in the lane and oh, rattled out on him. Second chance for NC State. Nine minutes in, still holding to the two point lead. Led by seven at the break. Runner and short again, and boy, Daniels with a great hustle play. And it'll be with NC State, but only two left to shoot. West, to me, that speaks to Leaky Black defensively. I mean, Daniels trying to get him in isolation, go one-on-one, -on -one, had to pull it back, ultimately drove it there. Help side came from Kessler and didn't get a good look, but that is an elite effort from a great on-ball defender in Leaky Black. Challenged twice, both times. 
couldn't get any advantage. All right, Ted Valentine and Bert Smith going to go to the table here, and I think this has to do whether Daniel shot. Jordan hit the rim. So teams will go to their benches. Ooh, that's that's tough to tell from this angle in Fairfield, Connecticut. <laughs> we didn't. Well, the ball you didn't see the ball here. Oh, well, this might be our best angle. Yeah, it clipped oh, it. Oh, it did. That got some it rip. It did. Yeah. Good work there, fellas. Kyle Lang, our director, finding the angle there. And I think that uh, see if the yeah, there you go. Just a yep. kiss. Quick work by Mr. Valentine and Mr. Smith at the table. Hat tip to our crew on the shots. They were able to look at, and here we go. Two point game. Carolina had some success with the run and jump, Jordan, and it, in the first half. So it's the perfect adjustment Coach Williams has made with his team here because it makes them the aggressor. And when Carolina plays aggressive basketball in the half court setting offensively, it's advantage Carolina. So to do the same defensively is huge. First foul on Caleb Love. NC State kind of their third start at this end of the floor. Baseline more. Wow. Shaquille Moore. Give it all to me on a baseline try. And a whistle and a foul underneath on the miss. Six Shaquille foot Moore one. is showing you something, Jordan. It's a six foot one freshman taking Brooks, a preseason conference player here off the bounce. An extra step on the lucky lefty's ladder. 7-1, Walker Kessler. Get out the way. Foul was on Bates a moment ago. Kessler, the rebound at the offensive end. Ball got knocked away. Here comes the Wolfpack up four. That got taken away by Brooks. Davis, Kessler the dunk. First points for Walker Kessler. That's a heat check for Moore. I mean, you, you blow by, you dunk it. Next possession, you're saying, I'm going to get to the rim at whatever cost. Turnover going the other way. Great decision from R.J. Davis to leave it for the big fella, Kessler for the hoof. Two-point game again. Carolina had had the lead since it was 2-0, and Manny Bates stuffs home his seventh field goal. He's got 14. Kessler traveled, collecting for the three-point try out front. Yeah, I'll Travel tell you is 15 now on Carolina in the turnover category, and Roy Williams knows it. Coach Williams ain't going to like that shot, but what a delivery. Gets him up in the air, and Kessler and delivers to Bates for the high percentage hoof. Kessler pulling that three. You can't like that. Not with how you're executing and getting what you want. He's capable of hitting that shirt, but not in that circumstance. Daniels. Another three. Moore couldn't finish from the perimeter. On the drive, Playtech and one. A boost off the bench for Andrew Playtech. He's got seven now in the ball game. Chance for the three-point play. Playtech just provides stability and, and makes the right play. I mean, that's just a straight line drive from a guy not known to put it on the deck and attack you, but they respect a three-point shot, and it opens up the opportunity. He takes full advantage. White Tech knocks the free throw down. Eight points tonight. And it's a one point game. There 
There's the help with now the skip to Daniels. Two pointer, play tech fouled him in the bucket. Devin Daniels now four and a half, 13 in the ball game. Play tech draws his second. This is just a scorer who understands the craft and knows how to get the whistle. He gets him up with the head fake, waits for the contact to come back to him, gathers, then offers. Daniels is wired to score the basketball. Jordan, easily their best player down the stretch a year ago was Devin Daniels as he knocks down the three-point try. And the idea that he's now, you know, putting together consistent games, he's averaged 15 points in their last three. And it's going to take that kind of continuity to go with the presence of Bates. And when Funderburk returns to make NC State kind of push him up toward the top third, right? No question. And he had those explosive outputs a season ago. He had an explosive output to begin this season, albeit against Charleston Southern, sure, but 29 points. He can score at all three levels. He's not as efficient from the three-point line as he'd like. He's 0 for his last 10 entering today. But he is capable of hitting shots from anywhere on the floor. But most importantly, has the confidence to take them. Yep. Stakes the pack to a four-point lead. Kerwin Walton's reported back for Carolina. Wearing number 24. He and R.J. Davis together on the deck. There's a long two by Davis that rattles out. Under eight to go now. NC State trying to beat North Carolina for the first time in their last six tries. And the Daniels drive and score. And Black at the other end can't finish. Tar Heels have won the last five, nine of the last ten in the series. NC State trying to win in this building for the first time in almost eight years. Davis scores from in front. He's got 11 now. His first field goal of the second half. Beverly. Working against Davis. In the corner, Daniels. Devin Daniels, 19 now in the ball game. Back to a seven point Wolfpack advantage. Devin Daniels, difference maker. Foul trouble in that first half, Carolina comes back. He returns in the second half and he builds the seven point lead for the pack. Here's Brooks. High arcing fall away, sharp fought for it. Here comes the Wolf Pack, three on two. Helms. Fouled by Brooks. That'll get us to a timeout. Shaquille Moore, a freshman, old enough to know better, but young enough to not care about the rivalry or the number in front of Carolina. The left hand, hammer. Oh, how about tonight's player spotlight presented by Geico? You could save even more by bundling home and car insurance with Geico. Don't tell Shaquille Moore. He's on the State Carolina stage tonight, Jordan. He might wake up. What a performance in his first one. Tell you what, it may be not, it's maybe not the midnight hour, but give me more, more, more. I mean, my man came in here, a freshman, averaged at five points per game, but he got those threes. He got those looks early. He saw them go in. And he got one in transition easy. Then the confidence builds and says, OK, I can do this. And then when you dunk it like that, I think everybody's a little intimidated by the 6-1 cat on the floor in the packed jersey. Put the John Starks on him tonight. Oh, yes, with the left. Say that to a guy who lived in Chicago. I don't know if you can in a Carolina game, too. Oh, well, I'm now? sorry. Hey, I was pulling for the Bulls. I'm not, I wasn't a Knicks guy. I just remember the play. Ask Patrick Ewing how they did in those in those matchups versus those Bulls. I could always bring up Charles Smith to make it equal. Right? True. There is a, a 9-2 run by NC State. Staked them to the eight-point lead. And a foul. Offensive foul on Garrison Brooks. I think that's his fourth. Yeah, that's huge. And yeah, that would be Walton. eight against Carolina. Yeah, Kerwin Walton got beat on that one, and you'd have help side to generate the third, and now the fourth here. Hallam's at 6-7. That's all he can do. Play proper position and hope for a whistle. He got one there. 
Got to be frustrated for Garrison Brooks. Never quite got going offensively in this one, especially knowing his history versus NC State. Yep. He was a focal point by Kevin Keats. He talked about him in the scouting report in our visit with him earlier today. And they've done a really nice job limiting clean looks. Meanwhile, Beverly from the parking lot. He's got eight. Both the field goals are from behind any line you can draw on the floor. Beverly loves to shoot that thing versus Carolina. 17 of 29 from three entering the matchup. And there's a foul on Sharp at the offensive end of the floor. Hey, wow. It's a confident shooter. He's made a whole lot of seventh most in program history. He's earned a right to take it. He shows you why. Yep. 11 point lead for the pack. Five and a half to go. Daniels, who's helped them. Certainly here in the second half after being really handcuffed with foul trouble in half one. Nice pass, layup, more the miss, Bates the follow. I think they're trying to see if that's a goal for Bates. And one, okay. <laughs> trying to figure out what the stop and play is. It's clearly off the rim. There's no goal 10. There's no foul. So defensive goaltending. Nonetheless, the basket will count for Thomas Allen. It is not awarded to Bates. So on the delivery, they said defensive goaltending from Allen. I got you. Right. So the basket for Allen is his second field goal. There's Dayron Sharp challenging Beverly. Been there. And that is 10 on Carolina, so Braxton Beverly will go to the line. And a chance to extend what has been a 9 nothing run by the Wolfpack, and Beverly misses the free throw. He came in 4 of 11 from 3 in his last three games. He had 13 at St. Louis last week. And he missed both of them at the line. Rare misses for Beverly. We go inside of five minutes. 77 to 64. Tar Heels are going to apply pressure, Wes. It has to start here on this possession. Baycock backs in against the double team and scores. 16 for Armando Baycock. Right at his average the last couple of ball games. Lob for Bates. Love out of there with it. Runner, good. Caleb Love's second field goal. He's got seven in the ball game. The NC State lead back to single digits with 4.22 to go. Beverly bounces for Bates. Kessler's back in that ball game to play inside with Baycott. Pelham's tried to rip it around and threw it away. Pull up again. Kessler tried for the tap follow. And a whistle and foul on the Wolfpack. I love how these big men run for Carolina to try and generate a second chance opportunity. Energy and effort from Carolina. Not giving up. Why would you? It's a rivalry game. Walker Kessler at the free throw line. Front end of the one and one, good. It's Kessler now with three, but you won't be able to find his contributions tonight in the stat line, Jordan. 
Really key to Rod West, his energy, his effort, chasing down loose balls, trying to create second chance, maybe didn't get the rebound, but got a deflection to lead the offensive rebound. Giving them quality minutes, earning a bigger role as they go. See the note, Wolfpack trying to beat Carolina in this building, first time in almost eight years, and there's Leaky Black on the drive. Seven nothing run, cuts it to six. 335 to play. It's Carolina generating turnovers as the pack getting careless with the pill. 239th meeting between the two schools, and a lot of them have been single possession games. Even in this uh, recent streak by the Tar Heels. There's Helms, had it partially blocked Kessler. Kept alive, though. And Daniels will reset out near the timeline here as we go inside three minutes to play. Five to shoot, Beverly on the drive. Tried to scoop it, fed it to Bates, blocked out of there, Tar Heels on the run. Here's the lead and the dunk for Caleb Love. Walker Kessler protecting the rim to key the break, and Carolina gets another one. That defense fueling a comeback for UNC. Stay tuned after the ball game tonight, Jordan. Kelsey Riggs, EJ Manuel, another edition of In Play, asking America's most critical question, orange or apple? It's clearly apple. I don't even know why they ask. It's Apple. CJ Spiller also stops by for a visit tonight. In play on ACC Network. Follows the heels and pack from PNC Arena. There's the double team on Beverly. Got it to Helms. And a hurdle by Love, and Bates missed the layup. Caleb Love just hurdled Manny Bates. Holy smokes. Watch this. And no, and no whistle, and no whistle, and no whistle. Wow. And I think the ball, the discussion is who does it belong to, I believe. And you, and you, and you can't go to the monitor. And Kevin Keats not happy with the changing of the call here. Because you're not within that two-minute window. There's the hurdle of Bates. The ball got reversed, awarded to Carolina. Love on the drive, had it blocked. Last touch by the Wolfpack, stays with the Tar Heels, four-point game. Coach Keats isn't happy for the reason that he's trying to understand how you reverse the call. You don't go right. to a monitor because you're not within two minutes. How does that call change? That's a fair gripe from Coach Keats there, and I'm sure he's wanting an answer. And Roy Williams, you can see, is out on the floor, too. Now, James Johnson talking to Ted Valentine. And, and, and now Roy Coach Williams, Williams not happy yeah. about that. Fair gripe, too. He's out of the coach's box. Both coaches <laughs> have legitimate reason for issue. Well, you wanted State Carolina Cornette, you're getting it tonight. Here's Black. Baycott to work. Blocked inside, Manny Bates recovered Garrison Brooks. Brooks plays with four, leaner by Davis. Bates to the rebound. Four point lead, Wolfpack. We go under two minutes here in Raleigh. Boy, these two deliver more often than not, Jordan. I mean, they deliver. Hard not to be mad at 2020 that we don't have the fans in the building as passionate as both fan bases are. They deserve to be there. Come on. Four-point game under two to go. Ball with NC State and Jordan. Just a small gathering of folks watching this one unfold in the building. 
in a completely different environment than this rivalry is used to, and they're still going at it. I'm still marveling how Leaky Black can play leapfrog and not draw a whistle. I've never seen that in a basketball game. <laughs> Daniels, 10 to shoot. The ball got kicked away. Allen, four on the shot clock. Had it batted away at the foul line, finally recovered Brooks. On the drive, the runner left short by Love. 75 seconds, four-point lead for NC State. Out of the double team, Daniels. And a foul on Black, his fourth. Tell you what, Wes, if you and see guards like this for the remainder of the season, they won't lose a game. I mean, what they've done here in these last three, four minutes with the pressure, the turnovers, protecting the rim, they've made it nearly impossible for the Wolfpack to get anything at the rim or score the basketball. So Devin Daniels, 72% free throw shooter. Hits them both. One Out front three. Back iron miss, 46 seconds left. Beverly the rebound, it's a five point lead. Two possessions here, Jordan. Hey, it, it's... Time out for Kevin Keats. Forever perplexing West to me. You've got built-in buckets on the floor. Armando Bacon, Garrison Brooks, who maybe hasn't had his best game, but he's the preseason. Let me repeat, he's the preseason conference player of the year. It's just hard to stomach taking the last two shots that Carolina has when it's a two-possession game and you can play through those bigs down low and have a higher chance of scoring and producing. You see the head threes by the Wolfpack, two for Carolina. There's the preseason lineup that features Garrison Brooks, the player of the year. And it's been a tough night. Ten points on five of 14, six rebounds, four fouls tonight. But Jordan, based on our visit with Kevin Keats, he was at the top of the scouting report tonight for the Wolfpack. And the Pack have done a good job of throwing a uh, help side there, trying to collapse on him with doubles, uh, trying to even steer away the entry pass with the presence of defenders. But you got to find a way to make Jericho Hellums at 6'7 defend 6'10 Garrison Brooks. Here's Daniels now working against Black. Remember Leaky Black playing with four. Carolina Bench thought he traveled. Helms back for Beverly. 16 second differential, and there's a foul on Beverly. Called by A.J. Desai for an offensive foul, and it'll be his second. Player control, no free throws. Oh, that's certainly a travel. And that's so a big way it court. works. <laughs> well, the way it works, 30 seconds left here, and it's a five-point game. That's a makeup call, my friend. Here is R.J. Davis off the Baycott screen. Kerwin Walton, runner with a right hand and a foul called, and we'll double check and see here. who the foul is on. Thomas Allen, his fourth. And two shots coming for Kerwin Walt. First one is short for Walton, his first miss of the year. Whatever happens here, it's still a two possession game, JC. Got the back end for his third point. Play Tech in the ball game. Here's Caleb Love in the game. You want to try and shoot in a gap? Try and get a steal quickly after that. You're fouling immediately. Right. Not enough clock to defend. 
Wolfpack's 10 of 16 at the line, 5 of 10 in the second half. Here's the double team on Beverly. And a foul called on R.J. Davis. So Beverly will go back to the line. He is two for four tonight. Roy Williams, who's had unbelievable success, he's 15 and two against the Wolfpack and Raleigh. Free throw by Beverly, no good. 37 and four against NC State, and that includes a 5 0 mark when he was a head coach at Kansas. Beverly missed them both. Carolina has to hurry. Two possession game. All the way on the drive was love and a reach foul. And it's against Helms. That sequence could have gone any better for the Tar Heels. The misses, now an opportunity to generate points with a stopped clock and a one possession game, potentially with a whole 10 seconds left to play. Caleb Love, first to two. 10 for Love tonight. Four straight double figure ball game for the St. Louis freshman. Second one good. Now it's a two point game with 10.4 to go. Almost stolen by Playtech. Oh, last touch by. Last touch by Andrew Playtech. It'll stay with the Wolfpack, but it's a spot throw in now in front of the Carolina bench. And Daniels on the inbounds. And then a foul. Playtech and Black both there. Daniels is trying to deliver that to Bates, who is home alone underneath the basket, but the foul came before the daring attempt to pass that thing down court. Foul on play Texas third. Daniels rattles in the first one. Three of four at the line, Devin Daniels. He's now got 21. Second one, no good. A three will get us to overtime. Three ball from Davis. Off the back iron. At the horn, Love. Missed it, State wins. NC State beats North Carolina for the first time in almost three years. And in PNC Arena for the first time in nearly eight years. And the Wolfpack, who won three of their last four ACC games a year ago at PNC Arena, win their first one this year, upsetting number 17, North Carolina, Jordan. What a huge win for a pack squad that was without a star in DJ Funderburg. Other guys got to step up. How about a six foot one freshman average of five points per game coming in at Shaquille Moore, who set the tone with some big time shots, confidence brimming, and it probably hit its apex with this play right here. Set the tone for a pack team that felt like they belonged and came out here and played as such. You want Devin a closer? Daniels, 21 points, Jordan. You want a closer, Wes. You want a guy that you could say, hey, we need a basket. Here's the basketball, generate something. Devin Daniels has proven he is comfortable in that role, delivered in the first half, had foul trouble, came back with a vengeance in the second half. Well, big win tonight for the Wolfpack. NC State will host Boston College next Wednesday before hitting the road in the league at Clemson on Georgia Tech next Wednesday night before hosting Syracuse on the 2nd of January. Great to be with Jordan Cornette tonight. Thanks to our producer, Josh Monk, our director, Kyle Lang. PNC Arena in Raleigh, different environment, but it's a win for Kevin Keats and the Wolfpack. Good night. <laughs>